Dear family, friends, and colleagues, this is Richard Solomon, and this will be episode 15, Enhancing Human Relationships Through the Fourth R, the Relationship Skills, and today we're going to review the four Fourth R Relationship Refusal Skills. Now, today we're doing a screen recording in summary of what we had done previously on the uh, for previous episodes. Now, the four relationship skills that we're going to do are broken record, negative inquiry, fogging, and negative assertion. And if you want this handout, you can simply go to my email address, rdsolomon, phd at gmail.com, or you can take a screenshot of this handout on my Facebook page. Please remember these assertive refusal uh, relationship skills only apply when people are aggressive and believe that they are more important than you, they have more rights than you, they have more needs than you, and they want to take advantage of your of you, your money, your work, uh, etc. So the first one is broken record, and that involves the repeated assertion of what one will or will not do or accept from an aggressor, such as, I will no longer give you whatever, my homework, my lawnmower, my money, my possessions, or my time any longer. And three broken record assertions usually terminate the aggressor's, aggressor's behavior. The next assertive uh, relationship refusal skill is negative inquiry. With negative inquiry, you ask the aggressor why he is emitting or she is emitting offensive behavior like threats or coercion, name calling, even physical force to get what he or she wants. Now, if the aggressor cannot explain or justify his or her behavior, the assertive person can simply apply the broken record which we discussed above. Now, here's an example of negative inquiry. Okay, so let's say an aggressor calls you a hurtful name, such as you're mean, you're stupid, you're ugly, you're selfish, whatever. And you find that to be unacceptable and manipulative. All you have to do is say, tell me more about why you called me these names. And if the aggressor cannot justify his or, uh, or her uh, name calling, then uh, you simply refer back to the broken record. Now, the third refusal relationship skill is called fogging. It's very strange. This is used when someone tries to uh, man manipulate you, an aggressor, and you basically put the person in the, a fog. By the way, all of these skills were developed by Manuel E. Smith in his book, When I Say No, I Feel Guilty. So what is fogging? It's an assertive response that one can apply when being unfairly criticized by an aggressor. The fogging assertive response is a way of taking control of an unpleasant verbal assault. It's an interpersonal relationship skill that disarms the aggressor. The fogging response is not a statement of agreement. Fogging simply gives the aggressor the time and the space to vent his or her anger and his or her opinions without the listener getting hurt, upset, or humiliated. Now, with fogging, the victim of the aggressor's verbal behavior simply asserts a probability statement, such as, you're entitled to your opinion, you may have a point, which usually confuses and ultimately ends the aggressor's manipulation. And the fourth refusal relationship skill is called negative assertion. Negative assertion is simply taking responsibility for making a mistake. It is assuming complete ownership of an error in such an assertive way that the aggressor chooses not to harass or take advantage of the speaker. Now, an example of an assertive, negative assertive refusal skill is, you are right, I made a mistake, I should not have given you whatever, homework, lawnmower, money, my time. 
and I will never do that again. Negative assertion usually ends the aggressor's behavior immediately. So these are the four um, refusal relationship skills that we would like you to have as part of your repertoire when an aggressive person tries to take advantage of you. And in uh, this particular episode, you can find on YouTube, my Facebook page, and on Twitter. And on the next episode, we will be dealing with something called strategic silence. So thank you all very much for being a part of our series, and we appreciate having the opportunity to share this with you. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.